everybody, Pokemon Go Fest is coming this Saturday and Sunday in Chicago, Illinois. I am going to be there on Saturday. So today, we are going to look at what is the top five things that we are going to need to bring in order to succeed with Pokemon Go Fest and make sure your experience is absolutely as good as you possibly can and for those around you. Welcome to the Trainer Club. Let's check this out. All right, everyone, the bracelets have finally arrived. They are cutting it a little bit close, but that's okay because they are here. If you do not have your bracelet, don't worry. Take your ticket to Will Call. It will be at the location you will be able to get in. We saw this last year. Based on last year, when we got there, the line does get pretty long and it takes a little bit of time to get in. So if you are early and you are excited and enthusiastic, similar to me, you might wanna get there a little bit early and get all the way into the front so that you can get in very soon. Also, what I wanna point out before we get into this video is tomorrow I will be downtown Chicago at Lincoln Park doing a walkthrough of what the course looks like, getting a little preview of what they may be doing and bringing you that information so that when you're going to GoFest, you can kind of have an idea of what is going on. All right, so GoFest bracelets. Let's open this up. Bang, here it is. Official Pokemon Go Fest bracelets. Lincoln Park event guide. They have a little event guide in here. All right, some event information. So it is going to be going on from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we have quite the day ahead of us, guys. This is gonna be awesome. I will be doing a blog, a vlog, video blog, blah, vlog, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna be doing it. I will be making sure to do this efficiently and I will have footage of me playing in the park, of actually what's going on. So anybody that's going on Sunday that wants to get a preview of what's going on from Saturday, check out that video. I will be putting that out on Saturday. Pokemon Go Fest 2018. So your unique QR code will unlock the experience. So if you were there last year and you've been to any of the events before or haven't had a ticket and been at the events, you actually need to have a QR code, which is actually on the bracelet now, in order to be able to access the event. So you can be there, but you're literally gonna see nothing because last year we were there, we were hunting Heracross and Machops and Chanseys and my alt accounts, when I signed on, it was a rat and on my main account with the QR code, it was a Chansey. So that's gonna be a huge differential. So if you're planning to try to go just to get the experience, you're ready to hang out with the people. However, just know that you're not gonna be able to see the Pokemon, the gyms, the stops, or anything that's going on unless you have this QR code. A little bit more official than last year. And I have my past Saturday south entrance. There's gonna be Pokestops to activate. If you're new to this, you haven't been to an event before, you go to the Pokestop, you enter your QR code, and boom, you're in the event and you're live and it's that simple and that easy. So this year we actually have a map. This is really cool, really unique, really new to this event. So it's also saying on the front side, walk in a park, Pokemon Go, that if you have a Saturday ticket with the QR code and you show up on Sunday, you will not be able to see or participate in this. So they're really good about doing this and really creating the experience for who is gonna be there. So if you don't have one and you're trying to get there it's probably not gonna work, I'm just gonna be honest with you. And so we have, look, we have uh, north entrance, we have some lounges up here towards the top, which I'm gonna check this out tomorrow and I will walk you through this as I'm walking this map so you can kinda get a feel for what's going on. So we actually have a jungle habitat, this is cool. I've never seen this before at an event. The only other one I've been to is Pokemon Go Fest last year, but it was definitely not like this. We have a desert habitat, we have a glacial habitat, which looks like it's gonna be ice Pokemon, and then we have a volcanic habitat down here, and then we have more team lounges down here. So this is the north entrance, this is the south entrance, this is where the pokey stops are gonna be. So it's 1.8 miles, guys, it's pretty big, pretty unique with thousands of trainers to do research tasks, which is cool because we do not know what's coming. We have seen some leaks of some photos that have been uploaded. Looks like the Deoxys, it looks like Smeargle. We have absolutely no idea. We might be compiling all this research for the big research task at the end that they mentioned, but we just don't know exactly. So this is cool, guys. The information on this and my walkthrough will be coming tomorrow to see what we can see 
based on where they're at with their setups. I heard some rumors that there were cell towers positioned and ready to set up. So they are getting ready to have a more successful event. One thing to note is that since they sold out so incredibly fast, they may have limited the amount of tickets to less than last year just to decrease the amount of cell traffic and increase the signal to help you have a better event. So for Saturday and Sunday, the weather is 20% potential rain on Saturday. Hey, how's it going? No, you're good. Is 20% potential on Saturday, which is not that much. The Sunday is 30%. Before, when I looked earlier in the week, it was 40% on Saturday. So we're gonna get into my top five tips in order to make sure that you have the best experience at this Pokemon Go Fest. So number one, we wanna check out what we can and cannot bring. There are quite a few things on this list that we're not allowed to bring. Number one, if you wanna bring a backpack and you wanna get it into the park, it's going to have to be clear. So you're gonna either have to get a clear drawstring backpack or a clear backpack backpack. Personally, I like the drawstring. It feels a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to carry. If you want more of a backpack to carry a ton of stuff, you're gonna to wanna to look at the Jansport or something like that. There's really cheap options on Amazon and they can get you extremely fast. If you're checking out this video and you wanna get it, you can get it by Friday. If you are a YouTuber, it looks like you can have a self camera. You cannot have professional video equipment. I don't know where they draw the line. Can I bring a Rebel in? I do not know. They say you can bring a GoPros. You cannot bring in any type of selfie sticks or mounts. So make sure not to bring those things. I just don't want you guys to get there and then be like, oh man, I have to get these out. Or throw them out even because you're going to be standing at the end of the event just as any other concert. And if you can't bring it in, you either go back home or you throw it out on the spot. So let's be sure, be prepared, read this list. So number two, bring your hydration packs and bring your sunscreen. It's gonna be hot in downtown Chicago, I'm warning you. It does look like you can put a hydration pack in your bag as long as it's clear and it's empty. So I have my tank on. I'm gonna be in my trainer club tank during this event. So if you need to find me, you need to see me. Trainer club tank, dark gray, and that is my number two. Make sure to bring your hydration pack or you can bring a water bottle. You can bring a water bottle if it is factory sealed and refill that. So that is really good for you guys. You don't have to worry about buying water there at the event. So my number three, we are gonna be walking a lot. 1.8 miles is a ton of walking. I really suggest that you bring shoes that you're comfortable with walking. I know we wanna look good, we wanna be stylish, but I'm gonna throw on my Merrells and make sure that I have the comfortability and the durability to walk for potentially eight hours that day because the event goes from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Granted, I may not be walking the whole time, but this is what I'm gonna do in order to make sure that I am able to maximize this event, get around the easiest, and be sure to hit as many Pokemon, Pokestops, and everything as possible. And my number four tip, Number four tip is to come prepared. We are gonna wanna bring either a collapsible umbrella, which can condense down, or we're gonna wanna bring a poncho because these are easy to carry around. They're super lightweight. I think the poncho is the best way to go because if it starts to rain, you just wanna throw this over the top of you. It's gonna cover quite a lot. Only downside to the poncho as compared to the umbrella is that the umbrella is gonna allow you to hold it and play underneath the umbrella. The poncho is gonna be a little bit harder to do that. So that's up to you. I don't suspect that it's gonna rain, and if it does, it's gonna be very brief. It's only a 20% chance as of right now. And the other thing you're gonna to wanna to bring, which I highly recommend if you don't have one of these, charge your phone for one, come in with 100% charge rate, and get yourself an external battery pack. I have a RAV Power that I got off Amazon. It has three ports. I'm gonna charge this thing fully. And another thing that I suggest, I have this carrying case for it, as well as I have my beautiful pink and I have a silver charge port. So I can have three charges on this. So I'm gonna put three charges on this and if anybody needs it, I'm gonna have these for them. So I have my six foot, right? Because if I have it in my backpack, the six feet allows me to have a much better playing radius. So this six foot charge cable, woo, quite long. Make sure to get one of these. If you don't have it, this is an Amazon product. It's factory registered by Apple. It's good quality. I've had it for a year and it works 
very well. I suggest these things and I suggest the six foot. I believe they also have nine foot. I think that's a little bit overkill. I don't think I've ever really ever found the place that I'm like my six foot cable is too short. So we have our battery pack, we have our poncho, we covered our water and our hydration tip number two, and of course our number five tip. I suggest that you come with a matching shirt for my number five tip because if you're with your crew, the events get a little crowded, a little chaotic. You're like, I just want to go and break off. But if you know what color shirt your entire crew is wearing, it's easier to narrow down who you are going to try to find. Because let's just say, you know, you're heavy heated in there, you're not looking at your text messages, and your crew's trying to find you, they see your shirt, and also, if you're bringing sunscreen, make sure to bring a sealed container with no aerosol. The sprays are not gonna be allowed in the event, just a heads up. And you can also bring in prepackaged food, which is a blessing for me. I'm super into nutrition and natural health. So sometimes and most of the time at these events, I do not eat what they have available. So I'm gonna be bringing my own food in there. And if I need to leave, because re-entry and entry is allowed, as long as you have that bracelet on, you just scan in, scan out. It is like a concert. It Once you scan that in, you're able to leave and come as you go. However, there might be lines, but usually as of last year, the lines were only for the come in. Once you came in, you were able to easily get in again once you had your code going. All right, guys, so let's just check out one more thing, the prohibited items list. I'm gonna go ahead and read this for you as you can check it out on the screen. Backpacks, only clear backpacks are allowed. Anything that is encased or enclosed is not allowed. Camping gear is not allowed. No cigarettes, vaping, e-pens, anything like that. If you do that, don't bring those into the park aerosol containers, including sunscreen and beauty products. So if you plan on bringing an aerosol container, leave it at home, pick the sunscreen that does not have aerosol in it. Any professional recording audio, I believe that maybe my mic might be considered professional recording audio. I think I'm just gonna be coming in with a GoPro and, a, and my phone because that's all I really need to be in the park and be as efficient as I can. Trying to minimize what I carry around because I'm potentially gonna be carrying this stuff around for eight hours. Think about that, eight hours. So if you're cool with having that backpack on for eight hours, do that. If you're not and it's heavy and it's gonna get tasking, eliminate some of those things or condense them or make them smaller or lighter so we cannot bring camera accessories that includes selfie sticks tripods mono mounts GoPro mounts attachments or other commercial equipment they're gonna be strict on this they're gonna make you throw it away or leave and come back without it so make sure to do that you cannot bring a drone or other flying devices totems flags and banners are also not allowed so don't bring those in there just be efficient guys it's the key here coolers of any kinds if you're bringing prepackaged food just keep it in your backpack that's what I'm gonna do for the most part if you're using food throughout the day we have this huge paranoia it's usually not gonna go bad unless it's literally sitting in beating Sun all day so for me I'm just gonna eat mine around noon and I will be good to go and you will be good to go too I'm sure they're gonna have food in there and if they don't there's plenty of places in the area to walk drive catch an uber or a cab to and we also cannot bring framed backpacks coolers or any type of camping equipment guys just make sure to leave all this stuff at home don't even risk it if you're contemplating and you have a feeling like you can't bring it don't bring it period that's the easiest way to go. No weapons, no illegal substances, no drugs. If you carry a pocket knife, don't bring that either. I had mine taken away at the airport because I accidentally had one from camping stored in my backpack and it was very unfortunate because I had to throw it away. So just don't bring those things. And so if you're bringing your skateboard, your scooter, skateboard for me, your bike, anything like that to get to the park, you're not gonna be able to bring it in. Just forewarning. So if you have that, if you have a bike, you're gonna have to lock that up beforehand. So bring a lock. So no tents canopies, structures, camping, just anything camping, leave that at home. They have the tents, they have the canopies, it's all set up for them. You also cannot cook or prepare your food on site. So you need to have pre-packaged food ready to go in disposable containers to make it easy and efficient for you. And then the last two, no chairs of any kind, and number two, no soliciting of any kind. So I was planning on bringing a bunch of stickers, which I believe I still will, but I will just be handing them out in the line beforehand just giving you guys my stickers just to make sure you get one. I want it to be a collector's item for you guys. So if you're following my channel and you want a sticker, drop a comment, drop a sub, let me know. I'm gonna go through the line. If you want one, I think they're really cool. I will show you them in the video tomorrow. 
because I am excited about them. I am hope you're excited about them too. I super appreciate you guys. Let's have the best Go Fest that we possibly can. Follow these instructions, tips one through five, and you will succeed. Bring everything you possibly can. If you have comments about what you can or can't bring or what you may or may not want, just drop a comment and I will respond. I appreciate you all. I will see you on Saturday if you're there. And if not, check me out Saturday night for the recap to be prepared for Sunday. Let's go, Pokemon Go Fest 2018 July, here we go.